Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. At the beginning of this year, Intel joined hands with TSMC, Samsung and other semiconductor giants to form the UCIE Alliance, which aims to establish interconnection standards for small chips and plans to integrate the technologies of each company. Because it is an external alliance technology, Chinese semiconductors also need to have their own standards. The good news is that China has also developed a small chip standard. What will this mean? Small chips focus on the post more era. Can Moore's law continue? China publishes small chip standards. Small chips are becoming a hot topic in the chip industry because transistor scaling technology is becoming more and more difficult to achieve, and with continuous breakthroughs in technology, chip usage costs are also increasing. Humans need a better solution to break the physical limit of silicon-based chips and continuously improve the energy efficiency of chips, so small chips have become the focus of attention in the industry. The so-called small chips are actually called chiplets, or core particles. General chips are SOCs, that is, processors that integrate CPU, GPU, NPU, ISP, etc., and have complete system-level operating capabilities. However, the development of SOC chips to the level of 5 nanometers, 4 nanometers, and below has become more difficult to break through. If the SOC chip is decomposed and the chip dies that implement specific functions are modularly interconnected, a new heterogeneous integrated system-level processor can be formed. The point is that these interconnected chips can be products of different manufacturers, can be of different processes, and can achieve different functions. After the interconnection of small chip technology, it can not only improve the iteration efficiency of chips, but also reduce the chip manufacturing process and save manufacturing costs. But how to interconnect different chip dyes? So in March 2022, Intel joined forces with TSMC, Samsung and other giants to form the UCIE Alliance to integrate interconnection technologies for small chips and use the advantages of major semiconductor giants to establish interconnection standards. Once the small chip standard of the UCIE Alliance becomes the mainstream, then related small chip manufacturing will need to follow the rules of the other side. At present, the UCIE Alliance remains open, and domestic manufacturers such as Xinlai Technology, Verisilicon, etc. are members of the alliance. However, it is not a long-term solution for domestic chips to rely entirely on the standards of the UCIE alliance. Moreover, the chip market is changing rapidly, and no one knows what will happen in the future. It is particularly important to master one's own standards. The good news is that China has also developed its own standard for small chips. With the participation of 60 domestic enterprises and the joint formulation of experts in the industry, China issued the Small Chip Interface Bus Technical Requirements Standard. The standard has passed official approval, becoming another practitioner after the UCIE Alliance to actively promote the formulation of small chip standards. Generally speaking, the small chip interface bus technical requirements frame the standard setting of the interface level, adaptation layer, physical layer, etc., and almost every application field has detailed requirement planning so that participating manufacturers can find suitable direction of development. So what is the significance of China's release of small chip standards? 
Perhaps the greatest significance is to allow China to have more space for independent choices, to lay out the future chip industry in its own way, and to provide solutions when breaking through the limitations of advanced manufacturing processes. In short, under the self-developed small chip standards, the industry ecology will change. If there is no standard, the technologies of all parties will be messy, and they will not be unified, resulting in waste of resources. With the standard, the development of technology can be traced, and many detours can be avoided. Can small chips continue Moore's law? Some people may be curious, after China has its own small chip standard, is it going to say goodbye to the technical standard of the UCIE alliance and form two standard camps? In fact, the small chip standards independently set by China will not completely replace the technical standards of the UCIE alliance, because the relationship between the two is not competition, but complementarity. In other words, one is plan A and the other is plan B. On the premise of maintaining openness, there is actually no big difference in which standard to use. The reason for launching its own standard is to have alternative options at critical moments. The small chip focuses on the post more era. Aiming at the limit of the physical rules of the chip, can the small chip continue Moore's law? Maybe very possible because small chips theoretically have the possibility of breaking the limits of Moore's law. Just imagine the manufacturing difficulty of multiple heterogeneous integrated chips is lower than that of SOC chips. In the process that humans can achieve, the performance level of small chips is maximized, so the effect of multiple chips is definitely greater than that of one system-level chip chip. This is one way to increase the energy efficiency of chips and reduce the cost of making them. In the post more era, more and more innovative technologies will be born, and small chips, as an innovative technology, have attracted much attention in the global semiconductor field. With the implementation and promotion of relevant standards, it is believed that the industry breakthroughs brought by small chips will become more and more obvious, pushing human chips to a farther future. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share. Thank you for watching.